Uh, this is uh, an, an electric piano playing machine dating from around 1907 made by a company called Telelectric um, in Massachusetts um, and it uh, works on 12 volt batteries and, uh, and solenoids and switches. Um, it plays uh, brass piano rolls. Uh, this is the brass music here. Uh, that would be around half a millimetre thick or something like that, probably at the most. And uh, this is the uh, roll, roll playing reader here, which I'm sure to attempt uh, to put this in. And here we go.
on underneath and then the, each one of these wires represents one solenoid which is connected to one note. It's a 63 note machine so it doesn't use the bottom um, number of notes on the piano or the top number, it uses all about here to here. Um, there are basically wires that run all the way up um, uh, from the solenoid to the underside of the note and they're screwed into the back of the note so it pulls down from underneath. And it's very difficult, unfortunately, to see that action. One can just about see behind there, but it's difficult really to uh, to see exactly. But that's basically how it works. That's pretty interesting, Michael. Mm. How old again is this machine? This is about, made in about 1907, mm. roughly. So um, it, I mean, a lot of mechanical music, I suppose, started to be made. Uh, most of the items in this museum are around 1890. Mm -hmm. um, so, 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 so this is the sort of later part, but uh, uh, this would be about the time of the regular sort of early player pianos uh, that played ordinary piano rolls. I mean, they, they were around from about 1890 to the 1930s. And, and just about would these be things that you would have found in a, a normal household? I mean, I know that the, the, this particular machine came from a local family, the Galikanos. Um, mm. What about? Um, no, this would have been a toy for the wealthy. Mm -hmm. Undoubtedly, it would have been quite an expensive add-on, but, but with a machine like this, you can add it onto any piano. It wouldn't have to be um, this one, for instance. It could be a Steinway. In fact, it was on something like a Steinway when, when we first purchased it. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, you can bolt this on underneath. And the advantage with this is that with the flying lead, you can have this any way you like. So you could have it by your armchair. Mm -hmm. um, in the meantime, of course, the piano could be, well, in this case, anything up to nearly 10 feet away from it. So this would not have been installed no, inside the machine? No, not at all, no. no. Oh, okay. uh, this we have yet to restore. I've got to polish this up, and there's a nice little wooden box that goes over the top, and you can open the lid to, to operate it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and yes, this would have gone by your armchair. Um, so. so your remote control. Absolutely right. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, well, yeah, that's a good okay. Thank you very much. Okay.